I have a man sitting next to me that has not only influenced the way I sing, the bands he's been in, been some of my favorite bands of all time, have influenced the way I write songs, the way I sing, the way I play guitar, and it's an honor to have a superstar sit next to me, Mr. Paul Rogers. Wow. Thank you, Sammy. You're nice welcome. One. Nice intro. Look, I got goosebumps already. <laughs> what a show. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> so, Paul. Yes. How do you like being a, a star? I mean, you've been a star a long time. A star. Um, well, how do you I, like I, being famous? I, how about I, that? I have mixed. I have mixed feelings about being a star, being uh, uh, being part of show business because, I, 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 show business as a thing is not something I really like. I like. Uh, I try to be myself all the time in the face of like, you know, you make a record and you become a, sort of like a household na name in so, so many ways. And you, I feel like um, I, very shy. I want to back away from all of that. You know what I mean? But I do, I love to be on stage. I love to sing and play music and write songs and do all that. But the show business side of it, I kind of shy away from, to be honest. Yeah, I could see it. You know, I mean, the thing is, with me, I was drawn into music. When I was, you got a picture of like a 14-year-old kid in his bedroom in, in a town in the northeast of England, which is so far away from the Delta in, in Mississippi and all of that thing. And I'm list there I am listening to, to Howlin' Wolf go, you know, uh, oh, I have had my fun <laughs> if I don't get well no more, you know, and I'm yeah. listening. Wow, this is and, and there's so much in that voice and in the story of of what this guy is saying to me that that that's what hit me, that's what struck me, and that's what I followed. That you know what I mean, like singing his heart out about his life, about his life, and yeah. all of the past. And it just it registered with me. How yeah. old were you when you were listening to these guys? I was just fourteen. 14. And how yeah. old were you in Free? Uh, we were, I was 18 when we started. Wow, we'll 18, see. 19. Montrose, we I was 24 my yeah. first time I made a record. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I got professional very early because uh, there was a guy, the, gu the guitarist in our band was uh, Joe Bradley, and his, his older brother took on the role of managing us. And he told us, he, I went to see him on his deathbed, bless him, and I said, what was it, what were the key things that were part of your management you know, philosophy, if you like, because he was my first manager. He said, he said, you get there early, do a good show, get the money, and get home safe. Those were his four things. <laughs> and like, Not he bad. always used to drum that into us, you Not know, bad. get there early, do a good show, get the money, <laughs> you know, and get home safe. And I, I don't know, that was, that sense of professionalism was instilled in me, like at 14, 15, that's when we were doing these shows, and that's when we were really getting organized, you know. So by the time I was playing at the Isle of Wight with Free, and we had a big hit all right now, we were well, I, I, quite old timers, really. You know, we've been doing it for four it years. It blows my mind yeah. that, you, that you, you know, it's like I, I was sitting there listening to you, and I, w yeah. I was older than you. It's like, I'm going, wow. It's all fun. 